DJ Pro for Mac EQ tutorial. So when you first start the app, this is what you are going to see. You are going to have your EQs over here, just like you would on most controllers or turntable and mixer setups. So it's very easy to learn quickly. So we have our lows, our mids, and our highs over here in this strip to the right or the, or the left. You could either turn it off, you could turn it all the way up, or a cool feature is if you double tap it, it'll bring it back to the middle, which is where you're going to want it at most times. So I find that feature to be really helpful because it's kind of hard to use your mouse and adjust it. Now, these controls, when you're just using the, the MacBook and not a controller, could be a little bit difficult because you have to take your mouse and move them around. So this feature is a little bit easier on the iPad. Next is a part of our EQ, which is over here. This is where our gain controls. Most DJ softwares, controllers, and professional DJ gear will have four of these knobs, the lows, mids, highs, and then a gain, and they will all be about the same size. This app feels like it doesn't really want you to adjust the gain, gain manually. There is a feature, there is an amazing feature of this app called Auto Gain, which is which is right here. So every time you load up a track, it is going to adjust the gain automatically so that both tracks volumes are going to be around the same, which is very important when you're DJing. So just make sure you have this auto gain feature on and then you don't really have to worry about the gain that much over here. And if you do, it is here, but it is small and it is kind of hard to use. Another thing that we can do with our EQs in this amazing app is if we go to this hidden drop down menu, you see where it says EQ, we press this drop down menu, now it's on EQ, we can switch it to be on Neuromix, so now it's going to control the drums, harmonics, and, and vocals, and then you see up here it has the Neuromix symbol because that's what we have selected, and over here we have our regular EQ selected. So that is how we control our EQs in this amazing app, and if you want to see my full beginner tutorial, check out this video over here. Thank you.